Okay, men. We've all had time to look at the game film. We're going to try this one more time, and I hope we can get through this without any references to hot dogs or soggy buns. And Grimsky, before you go, Betty, bye, I want to remind you that our main problem happens to be a rather severe lack of depth at the quarterback position. Inasmuch as you are the backfield coach, that is so hard to say. You may, you just might find that this little problem concerns you rather directly. So the next time you feel the old Sandman creeping up on you during a staff meeting, I want you to think of hot dogs, buns, and soda pop. Selling hot dogs, buns, and soda pop. <laughs> because that's what you're going to be doing permanently. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> As for the rest of you guys, unless you know of a high school that's looking for a principal, I suggest you get your minds on the business at hand. Before we talk about our next game, I want each of you to look at this scattering report. Even without a quarterback, we should be able to beat this team if we really hustle. Hand it out, Hedgefield. Browner, I've been thinking about our next show. We've got two weeks to really get it polished. With that much time, we should be able to put something together that will redeem us after that mess we made this past weekend. Now, I'm thinking about doing the same show again. Gosh, I don't know, Mr. Baker. Do you really think it's a good idea to do the same show again for the same audience? Look, Browner, if we do it right, they'll never recognize it. Besides, the other team is bringing their band along, and I want to make sure we blow them off the field. Well, you remember what they did to us last year when we went down there. Well, sir, I seem to recall they did a show with a fire baton routine. That's right. And do you really think it was an accident that the field caught fire while we were playing? Maybe not, sir, but they did apologize for melting one of our plastic tubas. Yeah. Hey, what did you ever do with that tuba? I took it over to the art department, sir. They put a frame around it and sold it for $500. <laughs> well, that's gratitude for you. They make $500 on my tuba and still won't let me visit that Monday night drawing class. Maybe if you didn't take your camera along, they would let you in, sir. Don't get too funny, Browner. How would you like to eat a halftime film, plain with nothing on it? Sorry, sir. Oh, forget it. Come on around here and let's take a look at this halftime show. Ladies and gentlemen, we must get this problem of the athletic field solved this afternoon. Now that you've had time to get together and talk it over, I'm ready for some recommendations. What do you have to report? Well, sir. We seem to be at an impasse. Yes, yes you an know. Impasse. Little we can't decide on a place to meet. Oh, no. Oh, not really. no we haven't been able to formulate a suitable descriptive title for the committee. Nobody wants to mine. And no one agrees on the style of footnoting on the papers we are submitting to Washington. What is no. footnoting? I have no reason I'm sure that that is. We just can't come up with something that all the group agrees is a first priority matter. <laughs> We've tried everything, sir. Oh, yes, everything. Everything. Yes. Everything? Have you even tried talking about the problem itself? Oh. No, sir. We didn't talk about that. You think we should? Well, I certainly don't want you to rush into anything as frivolous as subject matter when you don't even have a title for your committee. Oh, no. No, yes, we couldn't have that at all. So let oh. me help speed matters along by providing you with some titles you might want to consider. Ooh. How about the out of work looking for a job committee? Kind of catchy, don't you think? Sir, I'm sure I speak for all the committee when I say a report is imminent. Well, yes. men, that's the report. I'm open for your suggestions. I suggest we start all over again. The reason your committee didn't function well is because your system was too complicated. It looks complicated, Browner, but it's so simple any dummy can do it. Even a fool would agree with that. I couldn't agree more, sir. That's exactly right. And you know what this committee really needs? Get the lead out. That's what we need. With a little hustle, we can beat this team. But we need to be more aggressive. We've got to charge off the line of scrimmage. And when I say charge, I mean really charge. How about a retreat? What can we do with our ideas? Stick them. Yeah, that's what we've got to stick them. where? How about the 50-yard line? That'd be a good place to begin. We need a good place so we can drop some guidelines. That way we don't need any guidelines. We just step on the field and blow. That's what we do best. But maybe we need more than a weekend. Maybe we need an entire week. I think you're right, Coach. We're entirely too weak. We've got to be more aggressive. 
I think our new slogan should be charge. Retreat seems like a good idea. However, we have to involve more than just this committee. How should we announce it? How about a trumpet fanfare? Why don't we call the department heads on the telephone? That ought to wake them up. How soon should we do it? We do it early, before they go for popcorn. How about this Saturday? We can't wait until Saturday, men. We've got to start now with our new attitude. Maybe this is the wrong attitude, Browner, but I don't see any reason to do anything new. Except perhaps a counter march. I think Saturday would be a good time to think in terms of retreat. Today is the day we begin our new slogan. Charge! No doubt about it, counter march is the key to the show. Get it settled! Charge! Retreat! Counter march! That's, That's it! it. Looking up 
Ding Dong!